Finding and properly citing Creative Commons licensed images is easy to do, especially if you know how to use the Creative Commons search tool, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Here on my website, I found a picture of a piece of popcorn that I f um, on Flickr. It has a Creative Commons attribution license and it was taken by ePhotos. The new Flickr gives you code that will um, actually give you a photo credit on your website. So this picture is called Popcorn by ePhotos and it's on Flickr. Once you've embedded the image into your site, if you click on the picture, it'll take you back to the original work with a link to the um, Creative Commons license and um, you can also download the image. If you click on the three little lines, it'll give you an option to, to download the image. It'll also tell you the license and the name of the person. Okay, Just so you know. All right. So here's how you get this picture using the Creative Commons search tool. Once you get to the Creative Commons search tool, you're going to type in what you're looking for into the search bar. I always uncheck use for commercial purposes because I'm not planning to profit from the use of, my, of these images. And I always check modify, adapt, or build upon so that I can use these images in collages or photo edited work. For the purpose of this screencast, we're going to be using Flickr, but this search tool can also be used to find other types of media in a variety of other places, such as video and audio. Um, on YouTube and Wikimedia Commons. After hitting return, Flickr is going to give me a bunch of different photographs that have um, a Creative Commons license with content for adaptation, modification, and building upon. And you can change how the photos are sorted. So you can sort based on relevance, based on how recently the image has been uploaded to Flickr, and also based on interest. I choose um, usually choose relevance because it it's, seems to turn back the most reliable images. So here's the picture that I um, put on my website. I'm going to click it, left mouse click it. Here you can see a hyperlink to the name of the person that took the images. If I click on that, I'll see other examples of that person's work. Here you see um, a hyperlink to the name of the license. An attribution, a Creative Commons attribution license. If you click on that, you can actually read the terms of the license. So this is a Creative Commons attribution license, or CCBY. I am free to use, share, share, adapt this image for any purpose, even commercially, as long as I give appropriate credit and provide a link to the license and indicate if changes were made. Okay, so that's what I have to do in a, in order to use this image. Right, here's the coolest thing about Flickr's new setup. They used to do it differently, but this is new. If you click here on this little box with the arrow, it's the share button, click on that, and then click on HTML. Let's try that again. Click on HTML, and then just copy that code, control C. Go to your website or wherever you want to um, put that image like your blog, okay? And I'm going to go up here to where, to where it says HTML and I'm going to click on that. And then here where the little cursor is blinking, I'm going to paste, control V, paste that code. And you'll see here like the name of the image, the name of the person that came from Flickr. There's a link to where it came from. Here we go, I'm gonna update it. There's the picture but you're not finished yet. Okay, we need to put the photo, even though if I hover over it, there is a photo credit there. We're gonna put a photo credit down below the image. I'm not gonna hyperlink it since the hyperlink is already there. But you're gonna type photo credit, the name of the person that took it, which was ePhotos. It came from Flickr. The old way, I would have had to have created a hyperlink back to Flickr, but the image is hyperlinked, so I'm not going to do that. The name of the license. All right. The old way, I would have also had to have created a hyperlink here to go to the license, but that's all here in this image. So I'm going to click on Save. Click on it. Here's a link to the license, a link to the person that took it, and we know that it's from Flickr. 
So Flickr has actually made this a very easy um, process. Good luck, and I'm looking forward to seeing what pictures you put on your website.